It's time for another Two Minute Tuesday, and I wanted to share with you how I make seamless carousels for a platform like Instagram. So let's get into it. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing right. My name is Matt. This is Wackery Ips. Let's go ahead and get Canva open. If you haven't yet, I'm using the desktop application, but you can use whichever version you like. So we're going to be looking at Instagram specifically for this seamless carousel. Now, Instagram, you have two options for your posts. You can either post uh, one by one, which is going to be, say, 1000 by 1000, or you can use a little bit taller one, which is going to be 1080 by 1350. I'm going to go ahead and use the 1080 by 1350, and today we're going to be creating one that is five slides wide. So what you want to do is go over here to custom size. For the width, you want to select 5400, and for the height, is going to be 1350. The first thing that you want to do when you get in here is go ahead and hit file settings and if you don't have your ruler and guides on you want to turn this on next you have two options to do this you can do set up your guides manually which you would be going over selecting distance or you can go back to file settings add guides now we're going to go into the custom slot we want no gap so we're going to do zero there and we want five columns hit add guides. This will give you the distance for those. Now this will evenly divide the images up so you can make your five slides. The next thing that I would do is go ahead and create a square. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the guide because I can't get this to line up properly all the time. And I'm going to put this at a thousand, that at a thousand. Now you have this. Now I'll go ahead and center this and create the guides again to the edges of those squares or the rectangle this time and delete the square out. What this specifically is, is for your first image in your post, this will keep it all square. So anything between the top and the bottom is going to be in your first post where the top and the bottom here are going to be part that is cut off until they select that image. Now you have a few different options of what you want to do here. Say you want to do um, tricks and tips or maybe you're showing a process. So I'm going to go here to text and I'm just going to use this one as an example. Let's go ahead and duplicate this a few times. And these are just going to be for references. Uh, you can do whatever you want when you do this. So let's call this, you know, tricks and tips. And for Instagram, right? And over here, we're gonna have tip number one. I'm gonna do tip number two. Course tip number three and tip number four. Tip number four, make sure you subscribe. Only if you want to, tip right there, right? So this is the layout that you can use to create your graphics. And say we go into elements, let's drop both of these in here, right? So this is a seamless carousel. So you can make this bigger, larger, whatever, and this will carry over, right? You have tricks and tips, you have tip number one. Tip number two down here, let's move that back a little, right? And then you have Let's get rid of that one and just do another one and flip this like upside down or something. And you can do something like this, right? So you have tip number three, tip number four, create another star pattern. So it kind of flows from one to the other, right? Now let's go ahead and duplicate this for another example, right? So say you want to do something like images. I'm going to use cars because I take a lot of photos of vehicles something that I enjoy doing, something I've done for work. And this was a coffee and cars event I went to. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and create a blurry background, do a whole image, let's do 57, sure, why not? Next, I'm gonna pick my vehicles for this. So as I said, that first image is gonna be the first one that they see. And again, using these guys as a reference, the middle, piece right here is what they're going to see for that first one before they click the post and open it up. So anything you put in here is going to be what leads them to it. Say you want to put some text, 
go ahead and put this right here. Change the color, you know, cars and coffee. Sure, why not? And as you arrange your graphics, you can kind of pick and choose what you want, where you want it. So I'm just gonna throw a few up here just as an example, right? So that's gonna be between two for that Ferrari and this um, McLaren. I'm gonna throw it down here, right? Let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's get this Lamborghini, go ahead and crop it just a little bit. Enlarge it so it's between two and let's throw this blue Corvette at the end, right? And what I'm going to do again is just crop it a tiny bit and then enlarge it. So that cropped one enlarge and let's leave that there like this. But let's have this above that. So let's bring that to the front. Bring this one to the front, then after that, and then bring this one to the front, right? So let's just say you're happy with this and this is what you want. You have your tricks and tips, and then you do like a photo one. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and download the both of these, PNG, make sure that they're at least the size that you started with. So the next thing you're gonna need is a site to cut this up. I use Pine Tools, but there's a few different out there and there's different apps. This is just the one I do. You want to take the image you just downloaded, drop it in. You want it to cut horizontally, make sure it's even. Quality of blocks. This is going to be how many slides you use. Since we did five slides, we want five blocks. If you did more, you want more. If you want less, so you did less, right? I'm going to keep this same as a PNG and split it. Download all as a zip file. So now as you open those, you'll see that they're cut up. This is going to be your first slide. This is going to be your second one. This is going to be your third, fourth, and fifth. And these are all going to seamlessly transfer over. And if you look at the other one we made, so say you do tricks and tips, as you slide over in your carousel, tip number one, tip number two, tip number three, and tip number four, this shows you that progression as you do. Hopefully you find this useful. And if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.